So you just came through security at Terminal 2 here in San Francisco, SFO, and you're like, hey, I'm in the D-Gates. What are my food options? Well, let's go see. So even before you get to the gates, you've got probably the best place to pick up things to take with you to your gate, Napa Farms Market. They had some of the best looking sandwiches in the airport by far. Didn't get your clam chowder when you're at Fisherman's Wharf? They have it here as well. So this is a nice place to go to. Also, if it's in the morning, they've got pastries and coffee early. So 4th in the morning, you have an option. So yeah, D-Gate starts off a lot better than other gates. Let's keep going before we even get to the gates. Next up, you have Vino Volo. So you're gonna get wine and some kind of like appetizers. Italian theme kind of sandwich kind of stuff. This is one here. This is where my mom and I will usually chill out and have some wine before a flight. Next up, you have Sweet Maple. Again, we're not even to the gates yet, and there's another good place to get. They have a lot of different sandwiches, a lot of very creative sandwiches here. Also, they have breakfast stuff, which is good. Though it's early morning, they are not open yet. So uh, there's that. So if you're looking for something a bit more fancy, you've got Lark Creek Grill, which has steaks, it has seafood, it has really nice drinks, nice bar. That is definitely more of a nicer place to sit down and have a drink and have a real meal. Now we're getting to the gates finally. Sunset News has your snacks, candies, things like that, drinks. If you want to head in there to grab stuff, uh, you know, Lark Creek Grills right there. So you have that. And now we're getting to where the gates are. So D definitely has a lot of stuff before you get to the gates, which is nice. But what you have to realize, it's all right here. So once you get to the main kind of gate separation area where you're gonna go one way or the other, you have a bunch of options. You have Andale here, which is a Mexican restaurant. You've got the burger joint right down there. So if you wanna get a burger, you have that option. So still in that food court kind of area, or well, it's technically it's it's D9, uh, but you got Wakaba, which is a sushi place. You can go have that. If you're looking for your coffee and pastries, you got Pete's Coffee and Tea over there. So you can grab something quick and go, so that's nice. So if you buy D14 or D12, there's actually another Pete's Coffee and Tea. If you want to get a snack, you could drink and, and the pastry stuff. So you have that option on this side. But that's all that's on this side. But it's not very big, so not really an issue. Okay, when you're leaving the D12, D18, we're back here in the center spot where it has most of the restaurants where you're going to be eating and snacking on. So we're going to go over to D1 to D6 see what's over there. So even before we get to the D1, D6 part, you've got Pinkberry here, which has got, you know, smoothies and kind of yogurty stuff. You have that here. Next, you have an organic cafe, the plant organic cafe. They've got all kinds of fun, like healthier options. I recommend that if you're looking for something to kind of like cleanse your palate and feel healthy when you're getting on the plane, which a lot of times at airports, they don't have options like this. So if you're looking for your snacks, um, across from D7, there's the News Express. I mean, it's closed right now in the morning, but they have the candies and you know chips, that kind of stuff. Get your uh, goldfish kind of things. And I finished off for back here in the food court at D9. You got Cat Cora, uh, Cat Cora's Kitchen. So if you want something a little bit fancier-ish, they have that there. Pretty good stuff. There's some lamb things. There's some sa nice salads that are there. So you have that as well. But overall, lots of options here in D. Um, way better options here in D than in the Sea Gates by far. So if you're looking to get food, I would come to D over C for sure. But the thing is, this is a very small terminal. So you are worth the food the whole time. So you don't really have too many problems. So I hope this helps you know what you can get to eat at Terminal 2 D-Gates at SFO San Francisco. Bye.